Creating an Apple ID. When you are initially setting up your iOS device, you will have the opportunity to create a new Apple ID. Your iOS device may arrive already set up with pre-installed accessibility apps. For directions on creating an Apple ID on a device that has already been set up, please skip ahead in this video to the section labeled Creating an Apple ID in the Device Settings. The first thing you will need to do after taking your device out of the box is power the unit on. On an iPhone, you do this by holding the large button located on the right side of the device. On an iPad, you do this by holding down the button located above the rear camera on the top left side of the device when you are viewing it from the rear. After holding down the button for a few seconds, you will see the Apple logo come up on the screen. This means your device is powering on and you can proceed with the setup process. To create your Apple ID during device setup, first begin the device setup process. You will need to select things such as your language and your country or region. If you have another iOS device, you can choose at this time to perform a quick start by bringing it near to the iOS device you are trying to set up. Otherwise, tap Setup manually on the screen. You will need to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to create an Apple ID. So when the device prompts you, tap the name of your Wi-Fi network on the screen. Then enter the password for your Wi-Fi network, if applicable, and tap the Next button. Wait for a brief moment while your device activates. The next screen explains Apple's data and privacy policy. Read through the information and then tap Continue. You will now have the option to set up Touch ID if you have a device with a Home button. If you choose not to set Touch ID up now, you can always set it up later in your device settings. For this tutorial, we will select the option to set this up later in settings. Next, you will be asked to create a unique passcode for your device. It is important to make this a number that you will remember or to keep this passcode written down somewhere safe as it will be used to unlock your device every time you use it. If the system detects that you are using an easily guessable passcode, such as our example, it will warn you that this passcode can be easily guessed and ask if you would like to proceed anyway. You can either change your passcode or choose to use it anyway. Now you will need to re-enter your passcode to confirm it. On the next screen, the device will ask you how you would like to transfer apps and data. You can choose to transfer data from an old iOS device via an iCloud backup, a Mac PC backup, or you can transfer data over from an Android device. If this is your first iOS device, you do not need to worry about this step and can just tap Don't Transfer Apps and Data. To create your Apple ID, on the Apple ID screen, you will need to tap where it says Forgot Password or Don't Have Apple ID. Then tap Create a Free Apple ID. You will be prompted to enter some personal information such as your first name, your last name, and your birth date. Once you have entered this information, tap Next. The next screen will require an email address. If you have an email address that you would like to use for your Apple ID, please skip forward to the next section in this video which discusses setting up an Apple ID with an existing email address. 
If you do not have an email address, we will be showing you how to create a free iCloud email address while setting up your Apple ID. Tap on your screen where it says, don't have an email address. Then tap, get an iCloud email address. You will now be prompted to create your email address. This email address will become your Apple ID. So you may want to write it down and keep it somewhere safe where you can refer to it later in case you forget it. At this point, you can also choose whether or not you would like to receive emails from Apple about news, software updates, and more by toggling the green switch next to the Apple News and Announcements, either on or off. When you tap Next, your device will ask you to confirm that you would like to create your new email address, as you cannot change the email address itself later. Tap Create Email Address. Now you will have to create a unique password for your Apple ID. Please note that your password must be at least eight characters long and must contain a number, an uppercase letter, and a lowercase letter. Like your Apple ID, we recommend recording and storing your password in a safe place where you can refer back to it later if you need to. Type your password in again where it says retype password in order to verify your password, and then tap Next. Next, you will need to set up two-factor authentication, which is a security measure Apple uses to verify your identity. On this screen, you will need to enter a phone number where you are able to receive either a voice call or a text message. It is very important that you have access to this phone number in the future, as Apple will use this number to verify your identity if you have any security issues with your device. Once you have entered the phone number, Apple will send you a six-digit code, which you will have to input on your device to verify your account. The next screen is Apple's Terms and Conditions, which you will have to agree to. After reviewing the Terms and Conditions, press Agree. Wait a moment while your device creates your Apple ID. Next, you will have the choice to either customize your device settings or use Express settings. Please note that these settings can be changed later in the Settings app. For this demonstration, we will be using the Express settings. This screen explains about iOS updates. Press Continue. Now you can choose to set up Apple Pay or set it up later in Settings. For this demonstration, we will choose to set it up later in Settings. If you would like to use iCloud Keychain to store passwords and credit card information, you can set that up at this time. However, for this demonstration, we will select Don't Use iCloud Keychain. If you would like to share audio from when you use Siri or Dictation, you can select to share audio recordings. Otherwise, tap Not Now. Screen Time records data on how long you use the device at a time. You can set this up now or choose to set it up later in Settings by tapping Set Up Later in Settings. You can share information about app crashes with the app developers by selecting to share your app analytics. Otherwise, select Don't Share. Now you can select if you would like to have the light or dark device theme, which will affect the color and contrast of native device functions. Once you have selected, tap Continue. The next few screens give information about various device functions. Press Continue on each of these screens and then tap get started. You have now created your new Apple ID and free iCloud email address.